Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video we'll be showing you how to use the calculate function. Now the best way to demonstrate why you'd want to use this function is if we go to the measure we created in our previous video you can see we've got a very simple sum function there doing a total of our revenue column in our task table. This is great and obviously gives us the overall total but let's say we wanted to apply some filter logic to this and only get the total revenue for tasks that have a priority of high. Well, that's where the calculate function comes in. It allows us to perform just this sum, but also apply that mentioned filter logic. So the best way of all of these things is to just jump straight in and build out this measure. But before I do that, just to let you know, this video is still part of our Power BI course series um, with the dedicated playlist of which you can find a link to that playlist and other downloadable content in the uh, description for this video. So as we know, to create a new measure, we simply go to our ellipsis and click on to new measure. With that measure now created, of course, we need to give that a name. So let's call this uh, high priority and we can go into our function itself so we need to first enter the word calculate and you can see there's a number of options available which match our search term however the top one is what we need so I'm simply going to hit the tab button to get the calculate function ready we can now see that the calculate function in its simplest parts are made up of well just that two parts the expression which is going to be our sum formula and then secondly, the filter criteria we wish to apply. So for us, we're going to simply use the sum function. And let's type into here uh, revenue. And we can see it's found it from a task revenue. Close brackets. And this is our first part complete. We'll do a comma to now move into our filter logic. So you can have more than just one filter, but for us, we only need to just use the one. And of course, when getting started, it's a lot easier to work out where you're going right and wrong if you keep it basic with just using the one filter. Because we're working in the same table, and by that I mean our sum column of revenue is in the same table as priority, all we need to simply do here is enter our priority field so task priority equals, and in quotations, because we're working with text values, write the word high, close quotations and close brackets, and this is the entirety of our formula required. Once that's done, we'll submit our formula. So by hitting enter, you can alternatively use the tick icon uh, button on the left-hand side or commit. And it looks like it's done, yet we can now see our measure has been added here. I'm simply gonna drag a card icon into here like you can see there. And what I'll also do is click on priority and drag that into our fields. And you can see we've got the result of 11.1K. What I'll do, I'm sure you probably understand this, but let's just go to call out value, display units none, just so we get that recognizable 11,100. And I think I might have jumped the gun here already, but we can see our table below has already been filtered to priority of high. And you can see that selection has been made in our slicer here. And we can see the total revenue is 11,100, which happens to also match, I say happens, of course it does, it matches our result that we've got 11,100 here from our measure calculation. We can of course just remove that and go select all to bring us back to our total revenue. And you can also see that this 11,100 for just our high priorities has also been retained. So yeah, we can now see the measure as its whole. So you can see, from this very simple structure of a formula, we're now able to add filtering logic to our calculate function. Now, what we'll be doing in the future, as I'm sure some of you may ask, is how would you filter or apply a filter if your filter column was in a different table to your sum column? Well, don't worry, we'll be covering that in a future video, maybe two or three videos from now at most. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you see that video when it comes up. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.